In today's world, humanity suffers from various kinds of issues like addictions and compulsive behavior. Being addicted to substances, alcohol, nicotine, caffeine and various other aspects of life. So these addictions and compulsive behaviors, which can lead to psychological pits like depression, manic depression, all these things, essentially what it means is, in some way, we are not able to make use of the discretionary dimension of who we are. To be human essentially means this, that though we have our instincts, those we have our needs, a human being is capable of employing his discretionary mind in such a way that he can go beyond his needs, he can go beyond his compulsive behavior. Unlike other creatures, a human being has the ability to employ his discretionary mind in such powerful ways that he can even go beyond his fundamental needs of life. The whole system of yoga or what we are calling today as inner engineering is essentially about gaining the ability, having the ability to employ the discretionary dimension of who we are. Discretion means that we can conduct our life the way we want it, not the way we are compelled by the situations in which we exist or the chemistry of our body or other kinds of influences upon us. Going beyond our chemistry, going beyond our genetics, going beyond the situations in which we exist, a human being can still craft his own life the way he wants it. The basic process of inner engineering is to empower a human being to be able to employ his discretionary dimension in such a way that he can move his life to a dimension beyond his present level of existence.